is Asha 414 here and I'm here to do a tag for you guys and the tag that I will be filming today is the I Heart Drugstore tag and I wasn't tagged by anybody but I just decided to do this because I think it was like a fun tag and it was it's going around and I really like it and I do have a few drugstore stuff that I love and I would love to share with you guys and I'll also have who I tag down below so I'm gonna be looking at the questions on my phone and if I'm reaching over here it's because I have the stuff to um, show you so here we go so the first question is what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand and my top two would be Maybelline and Revlon because I have mostly um, Maybelline products and um, yeah Revlon so I will pick those two for my top and number two question number two is what are your favorite face cheek and lip products from the drugstore okay so <clears throat> I'm just, I don't have a, a cheek product. I do not have any cheek, um, cheek drugstore products. I barely have any cheek products. So my favorite um, face product is the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation. I really love this foundation. I'm not wearing this today. I'm just wearing powder foundation today. But um, I love this foundation. It's the CoverGirl Nature's Lux. And I'm in the color Brazilian Nut, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yeah, I'm in the color Brazilian Nut 370. And I really, really, really ha like it. It has an SPF of 10. Um, it's very... It's just nice. On, it feels really, really nice on the skin. It looks so flawless and natural. It's not cakey at all. Um, it's very light. You can, it, And I believe it's buildable when I use it. If, like Sometimes I use this under my... Um, I'll put it one layer of this and then I'll double it up under my eyes because I don't really have a concealer um, and yeah I don't feel like I need one I'm I don't know I'm still looking for the right one for me um, but yeah sometimes I just use this and I really love this sometimes like most of the time I'll reach for this more than my MAC foundation but um this is really really good and I really love it and then the next two the next stuff is lips and one of them is the EOS lip balm I have this on under this um, I mean, it's not any color or anything, but I have this on under before I put on my lipstick. And I really, really, really like it. Everybody's seen these. This is just a purple one. Um, I don't remember what kind it is, but it's for, it was from the limited edition, which I don't even think it's limited anymore. I think you could still get it. But um, it's purple. It's my favorite color. And yeah, I love that. And the other two lip products are the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Stains. I am in love with these things. I love this one, especially this one. It's like a... It's like a pretty um nudish it's like a pretty nude um pinky color which i really really love and i've been wearing i wear it on my in my videos a lot um the video before this one was which is my birthday video if you haven't seen it i'll have the link down below so yeah and then this one is like a darker one which it's like a reddish yeah it's like a reddish deep color and i picked this one because it's for fall but i have like three more of these I think and I really want to get more but yeah I really really like these these are very good products the next question is number let's see three least favorite products okay so my least favorite product would have to be my Maybelline BB cream it's not horrible but I don't really use it anymore it's very very um, if you have like nice skin or if you don't need as much coverage, this will be perfect for you. Um, they do not have a wide range. That's why I was really scared. Sometimes this works for me and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it makes my skin look ashy and yeah, it's very, 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 very light. It does do, like I said, it sometimes does a nice coverage. Sometimes it does it. Um, I honestly don't know if it does everything that it says it's supposed to do. But um, it does have an SPS of, SPF of 30, so if you want to use it like as a, um, what is it, what is it, sunscreen basically I guess with a tint, um, you could use it. But this is how it looks and this is the color Deep Sheer Tint I think, um, whatever, this is the darkest one, so yeah. Okay, so the next one, the next question, what is the best makeup bargain and for me it is these two it is the elf first i'm gonna tell you about the elf products all elf products studio line non-studio line they're just amazing the elf brightening eye colors um quads are so pigmented and very nice this one is i don't even know what color this is they don't have the color on them this is 
drama yeah oh so this one is in drama i did not even know and this is how it looks it's just like a smoky palette kind of thing and then i have the color day to night which this one is my favorite because it's beautiful neutral colors and they're very 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 pigmented but um here i'll do a swatch of this burgundy color for you but do you see that that is gorgeous i like love this color um, I love that palette. And then the other two ones is the Wet n Wild palette, which I just recently, not just recently got, but like, I got these over like a two, two months ago because I've heard so much about them. And these are really, really nice. This one is Walking on Eggshells, which is the, like, um, most talked about one on here, most on YouTube. And it just has these beautiful, um, natural colors. And then I also have, I got Good Jeans, which is like a bluish color and goldeny color and I really love this one this is so pretty um, I think I'm wearing this in one of my videos I don't remember but I really really like this I should do a, a tutorial with these what is your favorite underdog product okay so like product that gets overlooked well I haven't really heard people talk about this product on here but um I really needed an eye makeup remover because I use the Urban Decay sticks and stuff and those things are really hard to get off um, but this is the Alame Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover Liquid. Um, it's, it says it's the number one brand in America. I don't know. That could be, you know. Um, it's a high, it's 100% fragrance-free and hypoallergenic-free. It doesn't burn my eyes. Like, usually, like, the wipes. I've been using wipes, and they've been doing a pretty good job. They still don't get all of the makeup off um, around my eye, but... It burns my eyes this does not burn my eyes I really like it. it's very light if you're looking for a you know cheaper eye makeup remover then you can use go and buy this so yeah a drugstore product that is overpriced I really don't have one because if a drug if a product is overpriced in a drugstore I feel I'm not gonna buy it because I could just I might as well just go get a um, higher-end product so I don't have basically anything that's really overpriced so Show us your best drugstore dupes. Okay, so I'm not good at this because I don't go looking for dupes. Like, if I want to buy the product, then I buy the product if I like it. Um, if it's too expensive, I mean, if it's really ex if it's too expensive and, and I think I don't need it, I'm not going to buy it. But if, it's, if I really, really want it, and usually stuff I really, really want is not expensive. The only things that I buy that are really expensive are probably palettes. If it's like a um, lipstick and it's like... $26 I don't need it I'm not gonna buy it I'll find another color closer but I'm not gonna go like hunt down dupes for drugstores because I'm lazy but um I did find some in my collection um which the little collection that I have comment down below if you would like a makeup collection because mine is so not big it's like in this little drawer and that's all my makeup but it's all I need and I'm still kind of building it a little bit there's a whole bunch of stuff that I probably should have and don't but it's mine and I love it. Anyways, so I got this Studio <clears throat> Studio Gear makeup in my one of my glam bags. And this is in the color Cafe a Latte, I think. I don't know, but you guys don't really need to see that. But this is the color right here. It's a beautiful brown, like, nude color. You guys can see. And I'll swatch it right here for you guys. If you guys can, I don't know. It's very, it's very lightly it's like a pale, no, oh, you guys can see it. There it is right there. And then the dupe for it is my Revlon Brown Sugar um, Lip Butter. This is another color brown sugar. It's not, um, the Revlon is a little bit darker, but they're pretty much the same. So there they are right there, as you can see. This is the studio there over there is the studio one and this is the Revlon one and they're pretty much the same thing the studio one's just a tad bit lighter but um yeah they're pretty much the same to me and then the next one now these are pretty similar I think um this is okay so this is the from the naked palette it's a shadow from the naked palette and I think it's snake bite and that's it over here and then I think the dupe for it is my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color... Ah! Okay, I think the, the dupe for it is the NYX product in the color French Fry. And I'm just going to swatch it right here and blend it out a little. Because, yeah. Alright. So. 
Here it is. See, they're like right next to each other. This is the suspect, and then this one over here is the French fry, which they're basically like the same one. The French fry one is probably a little deeper, but hey, it's the same thing to me. So yeah, and then the last question is, I believe it's like the one that's overhyped. Um, drugstore product that isn't worth the hype. Okay, so I don't have these products with me because I gave them away. Um, one is the Mega Plush by Maybelline. I'm pretty sure it's by Maybelline. Um, the Mega Plush felt, um, mascara. I mean, I, w I really wanted to like it. I love the brush and everything, but the, um, the product itself, like the liquid, whatever on there that's supposed to make your eyelashes bigger, it really didn't do anything for me. I really honestly did not see a difference. So, yeah, I gave that to my friend who was just here. Um, but, and then the next one is Baby Lips. Baby lips, baby lips, baby lips. I am so sorry. I really wanted to, I mean, you always want to like products that is being raved about, but honestly, I do not like them. My friend was telling me she likes them, and I was telling her I do not like them. I don't know if it's because I got, like, the wrong color. I got, like, the purple one. It was, like, a brownish color. I don't know, but I just did not like it. When I put it on, it feels pasty. Um, it's not moisturizing at all for my lips. My, and my lips are very, very dry. And they were not moisturizing. Made my lips feel drier, actually. And, ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm seeing if I should try the clear one. But I really do not like baby lips. And I want to tag you. If you're new and you're watching my video, subscribe. And make sure that you do it and leave a video response to me. Or let me know that you did it so I can come watch. And, yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video.